Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is 100% the outdoors, and we are on day five of the ultimate northern Manitoba walleye fishing adventure. I am now up at Wakusco Falls on days five and six, and I'm going to be targeting walleye on Wakusco Lake today and then possibly Tramping Lake tomorrow, which is known across the province for holding big walleyes, but obviously you could go there and you could catch nothing as well. So we're gonna swing for the fences. I've never fished these two bodies of water. In the open water season, I fished for Cusco once, ice fishing, and that's it. So it's going to be a whole new adventure for me. Thankfully, these two lakes are now mapped by Angler's Edge Mapping just to make the adventure that much easier. Travel a little bit safer. Don't always rely on that 100%, right? Like, you still have to be careful. And then of course, hopefully it's going to make finding the fish a little bit easier too. I did have a nice chat with Brian at uh, the owner of Wakusco Falls Lodge this morning as well, and he pointed me in the right direction. Well, we'll see if it's the right direction, Brian. You know, this, this one's on you, of course. No, we, we chatted fishing for a bit, and that's fishing. It could be good. It could be slow, it could be medium, it could be everything, but that's why we do it. But I will say this is the first time I've been up here this time of the year. I've never been up here open water season if there's not been ice in general, and it's beautiful. I can't wait to fly the drone over the waterfalls, just like everybody does. And yeah, got the StarCraft in the water already. I'm just excited to be here. It looks like I'm gonna have a lower wind day and things are looking good. So let's get in the boat get all the cameras set up and let's go catch some walleyes. I just had to come over to the falls first and just check this out. Is this ever beautiful, gorgeous. I've been told that in a lot of years you can literally catch oodles of walleye right here at the base of the falls. Now, although oodle sounds fun, I am on the hunt for bigger ones. And not that you're not gonna catch a bigger one here too. I'm sure if you put some time in, eventually a bigger one come around. And maybe at some point, we're gonna try by the falls here. I don't know. I'm starting to regret only having one day though on this lake. Like, I think I need to come up here and spend a week. This is beautiful. Wow. And I don't know if it's just because it's the fall time too with all the trees turning that it's just like even that much more beautiful, but Mother Nature still blows me away. This is awesome. So good. Oh, and just thought of something. You guys are enjoying this series? Hunt Fish Manitoba right here? Go get some merch. This uh, whole trip, whole series would not be possible without Hunt Fish. They're a big supporter of the channel. And if you guys want to show support for me, just go buy a bunch of merch. The link's in the, in the description below. Go get some merch, it's, it's nice. The new hoodies they got are so comfy. Yeah, love it. Well, we are ready to go. Get my mic in a better spot yet. I should have should have a full eight-ish hours of fishing. Never been here before. We could, we could fail miserably. Like, I'm hoping to get 100 inches. That, that's the legit goal today, to get 100 inches. That's five 20 inches. Oh boy, I, I, I'm hoping to get 80 inches. No, 100 inches is the goal. Obviously, a guy could catch more. And I have the ability to find walleye for sure, especially a map that's laid out. I might start with some cranking, I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, a little bit of cranking, just to get a feel. Cranking is always good to cover water and get a feel for everything and then go from there. But probably a jig and a minnow bite today and hopefully some snap jigging as well water just isn't quite cool enough it's 60 degrees for like blade baits or anything like that so probably still a jig and minna and yeah i'm pumped this is this is awesome i know you guys are like probably like let's go fishing clayton enough enough okay okay we'll go we'll go we'll go you guys just don't get so antsy we'll go we'll give her hard 
do it. Let's do it. Oh, there's a walleye down there. There's a walleye right there. Geez, am I gonna snap jig here first maybe? I, I think I'm just gonna throw the live scope down. There's a walleye right here. First little point off an island I showed up to had some marks. I think I'm going to drop the live scope down and maybe even snap jig here and just see how big these fish are, right? I feel like a lot of the fish are gonna group up in age categories, class, class sizes. So if we're catching little ones, we'll just keep moving type of thing until we get some that are the right size. But I might actually jig here a little bit first and then we'll troll. At some point today, we're gonna to be doing some cranking. First fish, so we'll be able to see the size. Feels smaller, but that was, that did not take long at all. First fish, first one is a walleye. This lake also has really big sauger too. So if we catch any fish this size, we're hoping they're saugers. Okay, there's clearly a bunch of fish here. That's, it's, but it looks like there's like a big, it's like a big 21 foot flat all along here that they're kind of crawling in. So let's actually pull a crank for a little bit and see if we can maybe drum out some bigger ones out of this crew. And I'll keep the live imaging down so I can kind of watch what I'm seeing, like where I'm seeing a pile of fish like located in general areas type of thing. And, always focus more on a jig and minnow or hyper rattle. I've literally only fished right now with the jig and minnow for two minutes and caught one fish. So that's, that's a good sign. Okay, pulled cranks for 20 minutes. Spent most of the time on the phone catching up on some business stuff while I was pulling crank So that kind of worked out, but I caught nothing. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna reel up Pull up the kraken and maybe go search some humps I'm thinking or some tips of some island something like that and yeah, we'll find them I'm not gonna lie, this feels impossible. I've been fishing for over an hour already. One fish, I, granted I've driven around lots, but uh, oh boy, there's so much bait. Like the, the everywhere I go, there's just so much bait. It's insane. This could be tough, not gonna lie. Right now, confidence level, very, 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 very minimal. But we will, we won't give up. Got him. Wow, that was such a finicky bite. Holy. At least I'm going to be able to see size. Um, it feels decent, actually. Wow, was that finicky. Like, hardly, hardly ate it. You had to eat it right on the bottom. It's a bad hook set, too, because I wasn't even sure. Feels good, though. Get over here. Drop my net for a second. I hope it doesn't rise on me because I'm at an awkward angle. Okay, there. Okay. Wow. Feels decent. Like, I don't, it's not huge, but it's a good start. Gets me some confidence, that's for sure. I went way too soon on my net. Made this look bad. That's a good first fish. Oh, yes! I just said 30 seconds ago that I've got very little confidence right now and this just changed everything oh yes look at this beautiful wakusco lake walleye oh yeah i'm thinking 25 ish maybe hopefully 24 and a half amazing back in you go that's a good start Okay, confidence maybe up a little bit. They're just so finicky. Like I said, there's so much bait. Look for my towel right now. There's so much bait everywhere. I'm probably gonna have to fish them slow with a jig and a minna, I'm thinking. But we'll see. We might throw the hyper rattle around here a little bit too. And yeah, good start.
Did you ever think you'd see Clayton get that excited for a 24 and a half inch walleye? <laughs> well, I've been fishing for, well, an hour and 47 minutes, the GoPro says. It feels pretty rewarding when you catch your first decent walleye on a lake you've never fished before. Keep looking. I can't tell you how much hope that fish like gave me. I just went from feeling hopeless to like, okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. Oh, I went right to that fish. Got him. Got him. Uh, I don't think it's as big, but it's nice. Man, these fish, I'm going to register him because he's probably 20. So it means I'm going to net you. I can't believe I'm netting a 20 inch fish, but I am. Or oh, He doesn't want to be netted though. Wow, they're finicky. Like you can hardly even feel the bite. It's going to be a jig and minnow day, isn't it? You might not even make 20s like a 18 inch or perfect eater. 19 and a half. Okay, well, we won't show you off to the big camera, but 19 and a half going in. Part of me feels really silly registering a, a 19 and a half incher for my top five, but I still don't know really what I'll end up with by the end of the day. So not taking any chances today. Very, very finicky bite. Like you don't even feel them eat it. You just go to jig it lightly and all of a sudden it's like no there's a little bit of weight there like you don't even feel them pick it up so very very soft soft bite i'm changing jigs different color just because i did have a couple fish that i threw at before and didn't connect at all with it and then finally this one ate but sometimes it can be a color thing too so i'm going to mess around with some different colors and see if maybe i can get one to one color that's better than another tell you one thing i do love fishing new water a lot especially lakes that have potential for big fish it's just yeah it's right up my alley such a light bite i think this one's smaller yeah little guy oh. i had to turn those fish around Maybe. There's bigger ones. Here, that one just ate it. It did, it did turn it around. I'm gonna anchor lock because there's some, looks like some bigger ones coming up too. Can't tell size of this one, but I think it's decent. It feels a little bit better. Another 19 inch or maybe. Yeah, 17 and a half ish, so not even gonna register that one. I watched him drop by that fish and then I just came to the front and fish by feel. It's all about fishing for feel. <laughs> it might be a jig and a minnow, but pitching to them is, is a lot of fun. It may seem easy with the live scope, see them, cast it, catch them, but keep in mind, I'm just showing the fish catches. Sometimes there's 10 fish where I do that, where I don't catch anything. You see the, the good part of it. I'd love to put all of it in where I don't catch the fish too, but I would just be here, or there'd be the longest video in the world, right? Cause I'm pitching a lot of fish where I'm actually not catching them. So keep that one in mind where it's not as easy as it looks. I'm casting a lot of fish before I'm finally connecting with one. One thing I know for sure is this day is gonna end up going way too quick. It's a big rock here. Right beside it. It's a nice fish, I think. Oh, 
Wow, is that light? That was cool though. Big rock, and there's a nice fish hanging beside. I don't know how big, but yeah, that's second biggest of the day for sure. Big rock and a fish right beside it. That was so cool. And then I just slowly, slowly brought it up and it was again, the lightest of bites ever. Hooks out already too. We got 22 and a half. Here we go, 22 and a half. Nothing wrong with that. I shall name you the rockfish. Very, very cool. Well, it only took me a matter of two hours to fall in love with this lake already. I could definitely come back here again. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. That fish ate it, I think, as it was falling and came at me. That fish was shallow. That's a nice one, too. There was a bunch there. Okay, nice. Oh, right on. Maybe, there, maybe there's some fish a little bit shallower, like 10 feet of water. This is good. Not huge, but register at 21, baby. Well, we got three over 20. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. And my biggest fear today was not catching anything at all. And we've overcome that at least. That fish was right down in the rocks. Right down in the rocks. Another quality fish for sure. Right in the rocks. He's shallow. They're everywhere. I've caught them in 15 feet. I've caught them in 25 feet. And we got 20 and a quarter. Going up. Definitely contemplating pulling some cranks for a little bit and maybe finding some of the more aggressive, bigger fish. Definitely crossing my mind. We've officially got our 100 inches anyway. Now, it's time to upgrade. I've only got really one fish that... I'd be okay with holding on till the end of the day. Like we gotta get some, some bigger fish here. I've got a couple days where I've got like nothing less than at least a 23. I think I got one 22, maybe one day, something like that. So we gotta get going. We got time though. We got like five and a half hours. We're gonna fish right till dark today. Maybe end the, end the night right at the, at the falls, something like that. Yeah, a little bit of cranking though first. So, so far my best success has literally just been like some rock structure off of mainland, like little little underwater points. Like it doesn't look like a specific point when you ever look at it, but on the map you can see that a little point kind of jet jetties out. So that's been the 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 best so far. Who knows what's uh where the bigger ones are? Like if I just gotta keep on this program with pitching minnows and stuff like that. I've cranked here for 15 minutes probably without a, a strike yet. So we're probably gonna go back to some pitching minnows because I am seeing some fish. I'm going over them, not not many, not as much as like I was, but there are some fish I'm going over for sure. I'm still just shocked with how much bait there is. There's just so much bait. Oh, we follow that down. That's a long fish it looks like too. He is still following it. got him wow that fish took forever like he followed it for a long time pretty sure that upgrades the 19 and a half i think was that ever fun oh as much as i don't like finicky walleye i love outsmarting them i love outsmarting you guys nice 
Oh, barbless hooks just pop right out all the time. Just touches 20, just. Well, we've officially got five over 20, although I'd like to do a lot of upgrading. That is a healthy walleye. Oof. They eat well here, that's for sure. And watch them go on the live scope all the way back down. Oh, oh come on. Wow. So finicky. So finicky. Suspended fish. Got him. Got him to go down. Oh, he just bumped it. Mm, maybe better. Maybe. I don't know. Mm, looks decent. Looks decent. This bite is so finicky. Yeah, there's our second biggest of the day, I'd say. Or first biggest possible too. Easy. Light rod, six foot three, medium light, fast action. 2B rod, 2B Genesis. Very nice rod for this. Come here, come here. Yes, that's a gutter. Oh, we're making it happen. I will say this, the mapping is making it happen for me. Be able to fish these points and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been here before without this mapping. I never, I never catch the fish I've caught today already. Obviously Brian told me like which area to go focus on. It's not like he said, fish this humper, this point. He just said, focus in around this whole area, right? Thanks Brian, this is awesome. Man, those are thick fish, holy. 23 and a half. Look at how deep this fish is. Oh, he's mad. All well, the camera's just dying, but I think I'm, think I'm good. Yeah, still going a little bit, but camera's dying right now. 23 and a half, so thick. Awesome. Just fixed up my camera angle a little bit. I might've been pointed a little bit too high. It should be okay, but I know this isn't the most exciting fishing in the world, just doing the same thing over and over again, jigging minna. And I know my last day I ended with the jig and the minnow too, but they were more aggressive with that one. That was different. Like they would, they would chase it down, like eat it instantly. These ones, it's like, they're kind of following and I'm working them for 20 feet, sometimes more along the bottom, ever so slow, but it's good. This is the color of Kalen's Google eye. I think it's parrot. That's what I switched to quarter ounce. I'm running eight pound fluorocarbon leader with eight pound braid no sorry 10 pound braid 10 pound suffix g core and then the fluorocarbon is advanced fluorocarbon leader and i will say this so last night i just talked about the map and i have it on my Lawrence unit the angles edge chip right here which is awesome but last night and this happens if you don't have a Lawrence unit you can download it on the Avenza app. So I downloaded it on, um, downloaded on the Avenza app and I spent like, well, I stayed up a little bit too late. It's been about an hour and a half when I should have been sleeping because I was supposed to be driving the, the next day. And all of a sudden it's like 1.30. I'm like, oh boy, I better get off this map. Anyway, I'm going back and forth, but I downloaded the, the map on Avenza maps. It's $49, I believe Canadian, but it's the whole lake. It's huge. So you can download it right on your phone. So if you don't have the Lowrance unit in your boat, you can still use this phone and then it'll actually GPS track you to where you are too. Let's see if I can zoom in enough here where it's not gonna give away my spot too much, but there we go. Not that it's like, it's gonna make, make a difference, right? Like spots change all the time. But as you can see from that spot, it's like just a little point, underwater point. Yet there's no point here but there's obviously a little rock hump that jetties out. And I, it's not, this is, that was just the last fish I caught. I've been going along this whole side, just kind of slowly picking off fish as I go. Anyways, enough rambling, more fishing, because I did see a suspended mark the whole time I was talking. I should have been fishing for it like a donkey. Oh, that should be good. Where is it? Where's my bait? Right there. It's a 50. I'm going to keep it up. Keep it up and above him, come on. He's right, 
there-ish. Right there, went right by him. We follow it down. Yep. Look at, he's chasing it down. He's chasing it down. Come on. Now, I he's, know he's down there with it, and I just finesse him. I'm not looking at the screen anymore. I'm just finessing him. Come on. There. See that little, like, tap? Having a fast action rod for pitching out these jigs, definitely worth it. That was very cool. Very cool, I don't think it's an upgrade, but that was, that was fun. That was fun regardless. Watch your screen, but don't stay glued to it. Use it to like see where the fish are located. You get the reaction you want out of it and then just turn your, way, your head away from it and focus on your rod tip and just finesse them. It'll definitely help you put more fish in the boat that way instead of just staying glued to the screen. You're, you're making a mistake by watching the screen and being like, oh, is it following it? Is it on it? You got the reaction out of it. Watch your rod tip because it's just like... At this point, I don't even care if I don't catch a big fish today. I'm so happy with coming to a lake I've never fished before, locating walleyes, catching them. It's a good day. And it's three o'clock, still got about four and a half, five hours. I never gave up on that fish. I casted him once here. He turned from it. I decided to go at him again. And he hardly ate it. Like that was the softest bite ever. Oh, he's puking up my minnow. I don't think it's an upgrade. Man, are these quality fish quality oh, might be an upgrade actually okay what do we got oh geez that's definitely an upgrade 21 and three quarters <laughs> i didn't net that one not that i don't normally net these fish anyway but 21 and three quarter nice with that i think what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to go check out some other areas see if i can find some bigger fish i know i could stay here and level fish clearly right but is there anything bigger here? Possibly, but let's check out some areas. We can always come back, but I've fished now this stretch for almost an hour and a half, two hours. I need to look around a little bit and not just get comfortable and just fish right here. Or when I come here next time, this is the only spot I know. It's the only spot I'm gonna wanna come back to. So we're just gonna check out some other areas, look around a little bit. There's no wind. It's a beautiful day to do some exploring. It's so good. My boat, not gonna lie, kind of smells like walleye. That fish chased that bait all the way to the bottom. And then ate it right off the bottom. Super high suspended fish. Walleyes way up in the water column. Probably just hanging out in the current crushing Cisco's. Oh, that one followed it down. Oh boy, I had a lot of slack in my line on that one. I don't, didn't get a good hook set. That looked probably really funny. Feels better maybe. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. I just don't know how good it's hooked. I don't know how good it's hooked. It's a nice fish though. There we go. Swim right into the net, buddy. Definitely an upgrade, 22 and a half. 22 and a half, we're getting rid of our 21s slowly but surely. I know a Cusco has 30 inchers. Show yourselves, boys. <laughs> the fish gave me a second chance. That was funny. I set on nothing. Crushing fish, crushing. I stayed pretty silent for that one just because I wasn't sure if I was going to get him to eat it that high up. But we did. 
so many fish. The Costco Lake is polluted with walleyes. Well, I feel like we could level fish here. We stayed here in this current area. I think we could get 50 fish in three hours. It would just be insane. But are there bigger ones here? I don't know, potentially. But the curiosity, which sometimes killed the cat, is getting the best of me to check out some more areas. And like I said earlier, I got this beautiful day. Why not take advantage of it, baby? So good. What a life, they say. What a life. This tour is going awesome. The day has completely changed. Like the wind came up, smoke rolled in, went and tried a couple spots, no dice. It's funny how fast a day can change. Like I'm pretty sure it was sunny at one point, wasn't it? Like I just, I'm almost positive it was. And like within like an hour, it just completely changed. So I got about an hour and 20 minutes left to try to make some magic happen. And yeah, like I just said that last fish, I might uh, use the hyper rattle a little bit here just because the wind picked up. We'll see if they're still grumpy and they want only a jig and a minnow. We'll give them the jig and a minnow, but we're going to try a little bit. On the bottom. Right on the bottom. Feels, uh, feels decent. Not huge, but... Possibly an upgrade. It's been a long time since we had an upgrade. Like I've only got about a half hour left of fishing probably. And granted we went and checked out a bunch of different areas. But we'll see. I think I got 21 and 3 quarters. So this might not quite get there. Be close. Don't think so Clayton. Oh geez. Yeah. No never mind. 22 and 3 quarters. Well like I said been a while since we've had a, an upgrade but we got a little one right there i think about an inch upgrade well i'm back at the lodge and as you can hear in the background oh <laughs> waterfalls should we get a tube and go for a ride yeah i think so uh, it's probably really loud so i'll go somewhere else here and talk about the rest of my day after obviously that last fish, I, brought, I, caught, I caught a couple smaller ones type of thing, whether they're in the video or not, I'm not sure. I mean, no one's supposed to be putting how many fish I caught on this trip total, but I have a feeling today might, uh, I might be losing count now. We'll see, we'll see how the edit goes, no promises. But that was uh, a really good first day. And yes, the Costco Falls Lodge is home for the night anyway, because I've got one more day and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. That root beer needs a drink and we need to catch one more 30 incher. I'd love to close it out with a 30 on the final day. Now getting one, you know, the first day and the last day would be epic. So today was good, no big fish, but lots of fish, very happy with it. Obviously it was my smallest number in terms of total inches, but probably my most quality fish caught. So. One more day to come. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.